everyone, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Please do smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. Personal reading links are also below under the video here in the description box. You could also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's all there below. Hi everybody in the chat, welcome back. You can also join my channel if you're interested. Um, become a member here of this awesome group of people uh, connect with all the other Virgos all right you guys so let's get right into the reading here so we're gonna take a look at the weekend okay I have not changed my calendar over yet I must not be uh, a true Virgo uh, maybe I need a new calendar oh my goodness okay so yeah we're taking a look at the weekend Virgo January 6th through the 8th I'm gonna go one by one here I'm gonna take a look at your overall energy and then your love and then whatever else might come up okay so let's get started so overall energy oh the butterfly kind of similar to like yesterday a relationship is evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth so this is beautiful this is beautiful for your uh starting with friday okay there's some type of relationship for some of you um, could be romantic, could be a friendship, could be a family member. Something is evolving to the next phase and there's a lot of healing. You're having growth on Friday for sure. Or you're engaging in some growth practices. That could be physical, mental, spiritual, whatever it might be, emotional. Let's take a look and see what love is coming through for you on Friday, Virgo. Okay. All right. So there's deception in love. Okay. Someone's wearing a false self mask in a relationship so on friday you may come to realize that someone might be a bit deceptive or they are not being like true to who they are or um, they're just hiding something about themselves on friday so i feel like they're they're just i, I don't know if there's 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 a lot of reasons why people would be deceptive, why they would wear a mask, why they would pretend. And I'm not gonna go into eight million of them. I just feel like there is an energy here on Friday that you're going to come to terms with something about a particular person romantically, where, yeah, somebody wasn't really being their true authentic self with you. They were hiding things. They weren't being open and honest with you. And so, yeah, okay. That's okay. Uh, coming to terms with something is always difficult and painful, but it induces the most growth. All right, let's take a look and see what other messages there are for you on Friday. Okay, so good. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. So there might be this um, situation happening where you're going to come into financial stability um, or get an unexpected financial windfall some type of lump sum there's something to do with a will or a deed a trust fund inheritance um, stocks um, investments solid foundations some inheritance perhaps connecting with ancestry some of you in the more um, 3d purchasing a home having uh, maybe doing some redecorating or, re or designing something in your home as well fixing the foundations doing some structural work, investing in your home, maybe you're also working, your company, um, like putting in a lot of, um, hmm, investing in something in either a business that you have or a, a current uh, business that you have an employment with where there's a big bonus or a payout or, um, yeah, it, it feels like some of you might be going into real estate or working in or working in real estate over the weekend or on Friday, you get the deal, you make the deal, <laughs> you make the sale on Friday is what I feel like. There's there's something to do here with it just because it's a 10, it's like very much like a finale here, right? Okay, some of you are also dipping into retirement funds or able to like withdraw or cash out that 401k on Friday. Um, you know, there, there's just like a lot of money, uh, access, access to funds on Friday, which looks really good. Okay. Either being in a position to receive or you are unlocking something here on Friday. Okay. Let me see what else is going on for you. Anything else for Friday? Okay. There's might be some time being spent with child or children, um, going through some 
photograph albums. <laughs> Maybe you have some old physical photograph albums that you're looking through. Um, kind of like going through some past stuff as well, looking at old pictures. For some of you, it could be also uh, homesick, going home, um, reconnecting with some siblings or your children or grandchildren or reconnecting with some friends. This is kind of like an energy of returning to your roots in some way. Now, let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia. You might be receiving a gift as well from someone on Friday. It's very sincere, a creative gift as well. Or you are um, creating something over on, like on Friday as well. Some of you might be shopping Goodwill, doing some Goodwill shopping on Friday, maybe Friday night. I mean, is that how you spend your Friday night? You do what you do or you work in a place like that where you are working in um, charitable, doing something charitable on Friday as well. Okay, let me see. There's also a reunion, possible reunion with someone um, someone re trying to reconnect with you um, in sincerity and, and like goodwill. I feel like someone has good intentions with a reconnection or giving a gift to you on Friday. All right. Wow. Look at you, Virgo. All up in your independence and wealth, success, financial stability, security. You're single as a Pringle on Friday, and but you look amazing. Um, there's a lot of aestheticism. Is that the word? Aesthetics attached to you on Friday. Um, thriving in business, your status goes way up somehow. Uh, you're being viewed that way as being high status. Um, you're also collecting, able to collect on some investments on Friday as well. So that, like it's so up Virgo's alley to have all this like good financial stuff going on here for you. But um, yeah, I feel like maybe in the case of love, um, somebody gets called out on their lies or their deceptions on Friday, okay, as well. And that might also give you um, a sense of like breaking free and being independent solo and enjoying, making a decision to enjoy your solo pleasures, your, your life goals, your dreams, you know, don't quit your daydream, Virgo doing what you need to do for yourself. Look at all this pentacle energy. It's unbelievable. There's that charity card. Again, charity giving back, um, donating. Some of you are donating to Goodwill on Friday. Um, getting involved in some type of community organization of some sort. Um, giving back, um, paying out bonuses to people in employment or in your business. There's a lot of kindness on Friday, a lot of sharing. Um, I see you being in a power, authoritative position, and also a double whammy for that investor thing. Um, getting some, like, there's this, like, paying something forward on Friday. You having the ability. An overall message for you is being in a fantastic stable financial independent position and being able to share the wealth being able to give back very nice very nice okay um i like that i really like that let me just take a quick look at love here this deception thing what is going on with this deception thing going on here for you virgo because you're really like evolving or there's a relationship evolving okay somebody was just I feel like there might be a realization that someone, there was a silent treatment. Someone was blocking. Look at this. Four and four. So somebody definitely blocking, giving silent treatment on purpose and why. Oh, look at all this. Secretive energy. Okay. You could have a connection with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, again, with this blocking, Two of Swords. And, oh, the Two of Cups. All right, Virgo, give it to you straight. There is somebody here who probably was um, showing interest in you or is showing interest in you or was. But the thing is, I feel like this person um, really just wanted either friends with benefits or friends. Maybe you already know that, and, but I feel like this person is showing up here as like they didn't want to say that to you. Um, whenever it came time to... 
maybe bring a relationship forward or evolve something to the next phase or um, bring love into the situation. Um, somebody kind of like ghosted or gave the silent treatment or blocked, stalemate, didn't do anything, was still on the fence. And it feels to me like there was great potential. There was definitely, there's a connection that gets made here, but I feel like you come to terms with something on Friday and you're like, this person is being deceptive. They're not telling you the absolute truth. Um, you know, if you were to ask this person, well, you know, what are you actually looking for? Like we've been connecting for a while, like, where does this go this person might block or they just vague or they give the sign true they don't they don't really answer they give maybe indirect answers and i feel like you come to terms with that like this person is not being truthful okay yeah hmm. so i <sighs> strength is here i feel like this person was just trying to soothe smooth things over and virgo you're coming to terms with this you are you're coming to terms with this on friday Maybe getting real with yourself. That's where that healing, that inner child and growth is coming from. Okay. All right. Let's move on to Saturday. See what the overall message is for Saturday here for you, Virgo. Saturday is January 7th. Okay. Saturday, January 7th for Virgo. Okay, wow, abundance. I was just talking about abundance on my Facebook uh, page today. You know, abundance, <clears throat> if you're in abundance, that's mean, that means you have lifted your self-limiting blocks, okay? Keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So for those of you um, who have lifted your limits on yourself, you're not sabotaging. Um, there was a quote that I posted that said, abundance is always present. It's just that we put limits on that. We, we put limits on our abundance. There, there, there's never a lack of abundance. There's always our self-limiting behavior. So some of you maybe have read that quote or you recognize this and are on Saturday beginning to remove your blocks, your self-limiting blocks so that you can tap into that abundant source, which is beautiful. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is kind of like, hey, you know what? This some situations in my life aren't working out. Um, because I'm not allowing them to work out or I am too restricting restricting myself in a lot of ways or I am keeping myself <clears throat> excuse me I'm hearing I want something so bad enough but maybe I don't feel like I deserve it so then I place limits on myself so that I self-sabotage so I don't actually receive it yeah it's, it takes a lot of courage to remove our blocks and our our limits okay so you, I feel like a lot of you are going to be tapping into that and abundance is whatever it is for you you know if that means just you know it's it's not the abundance that we need to focus on it's it's our our access to the abundance we have to focus on that how are we ex accessing our abundance in our lives right well, it, it's not the abundance itself it's there it's there there's a whole pile there waiting for you it's waiting to be tapped into it's your point a to point b to that abundance it's how are you accessing that are you able to access that you don't need to trade anything in for that you just need to remove your blocks okay it's kind of like a river that has a dam you know the water builds up behind it all that flowing water all that flowing water is like blessings new new baby a relationship having the things that you want it's all there right but that dam is blocking that flow so it's about removing the blocks not about trading something for another. All right, let me see what your love message is. So you guys are definitely going to be getting into, I feel, this practice of manifestation, manifesting what you want on Saturday so you can tap into all your abundance. And if you haven't already done it, definitely working on it. All right, show us what is Virgo's love message. Oh, well, I have to tell you, unrequited love showed up in the reverse. Okay. So what, are you, what does this mean? There is enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. There is. There's some relationship that is not unrequited. Okay? Not at all. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about that. I just feel like that's a strong message here for somebody that needs to know it's not what you think. I feel like there is enough. But listen, you also have keeping a positive mindset. So some of you might be looking at a relationship in a negative way. Okay, like, oh, this will never happen for me. This this is not, 
you know, I, I can't see how this is going to work out, or I don't feel like I really deserve love, or I don't reserve, uh, deserve all of the, the uh, good things that can come from a relationship. And that is kind of changing your tune on Saturday. Maybe that's part of your self-healing. That's part of your growth, healing your inner child. Okay. Um, so let's take a look and see what other messages there are for you here, Virgo, going forward. Okay. So coming to the end of a burden, fantastic. Okay. You've been overloaded with responsibilities, stress, problems, weight on your shoulders, this duty you constantly have to tend to, it feels like drudge work. These obligations, you feel saddled, restricted, maybe burned out. Everything is an uphill struggle. You may even feel taken for granted, but it's a 10, which means it's the end. Okay, that's Sagittarius energy. So th this feels to me like you might need some rest over the weekend. Like, I don't know, Virgo, stay in bed an, an hour longer, okay? Um, or go to bed a little earlier, right? choose um healthy foods over some junk food right um lighten your load yourself okay treat yourself nice on saturday treat yourself well go get a massage um go to the gym practice some yoga tai chi do some things that cause relaxation um to release these burdens to help facilitate releasing these burdens that you are feeling i feel like it's also saturday for some of you it's like a day to just relax there's no obligations enjoy that okay if, if you're someone who works on saturdays then you know sleep a little late if you can a little extra or take five minutes and do some breathing exercises exercises anything to just kind of release your struggle and your burden okay here's the king of pentacles again some of you might have a boss that's just driving you nuts and they're putting a lot of pressure on you they have high expectations for you this is someone who's high status it's someone who um you know, they might be a businessman or businesswoman. Um, some of you need to release this person. And for others, this is you. You're focusing way too much on your work. You need a little break because you're becoming overburdened. All right, I don't care if you're, I know for some of you work is therapeutic, um, but you have to take care of the other elements of your soul as well. Oh, look, Six of Pentacles is here yet again. Okay. Um, this looks like a weekend of reconnections definitely overall so far like at least friday and saturday there's a weekend of reconnections there's a weekend of spending time with um either people from your past or children or childhood memories um and there's also i feel like perhaps a taurus or another earth sign who wants to reconnect with you on saturday or connect with you on saturday okay hmm all right that could have something to do with that unrequited love situation that you might feel like, no, it's never going to happen. I feel like somebody else has a different viewpoint of a relationship. Okay. Ace of Wands. Wow. So you definitely have a new beginning coming in, happening here for you on Saturday. Um, physically starting something new. Okay. You have also a creative spark. There's good news coming to you as well in regards to those things. There's a new initiative or refinding or finding a new passion. I see you um, accepting some kind of a challenge on Saturday. Yes, you get challenged to something, but I see you accepting this challenge. So this could be something to do with now you're finally, you know, it's already the first of the year. You're finally going to join that gym. Some of you, uh, you're finally going to start that fast or that new diet program, or you're going to um, challenge yourself maybe to quit smoking or challenge yourself to lay off what, whatever your indulgences are that you might need a little bit of limit. You need to limit or set a limit on, you know, um, in order to have growth in other areas. Okay. Um, there's some other areas in your life that you haven't been tending to. So like if you have a garden and you're only tending to like one corner of that garden, other areas of that garden are going to begin to wilt. So it's like finding balance. And I feel like for you, it's it's not focusing too much on one thing, but kind of like tending to each little thing a little bit each day. Okay. So Saturday looks like, hmm, let me re let me reset. Let me regroup. Let me figure out what I need to do and taking a little bit of time here to do that. One more card for Virgo. 
Okay, wow, the Empress, beautiful. So there's definitely uh, you being in your Empress energy, focusing on being a good parent. There's also fertile energy. So whether that's pregnancy, watch out for that. That could happen for those of you who are um, ready, willing, and able to have that happen. That could happen if there's like a physical uh, connection being made on Saturday with someone. <laughs> um, motherhood is a possibility for some of you. You could also find out about a pregnancy. Uh, may not be you. It could be somebody else um, or find out that you are pregnant as well. You might take a test and be like, boing, oh my gosh. Um, I know uh, for others, this is a change of life as, all, as well. And it's kind of like, okay, well, um, now I'm in this stage of life. Where do I want to go? How do I want to grow? Okay, what are my plans? What do I want to do going forward? So I can tap into that abundance, definitely. Um, hmm, you might be nurturing a child over the weekend. Also, there's a lot of like um, an energy of tapping into femininity and beauty over the weekend. You might have a, uh, you could just, it's something simple. Some of you are uh, changing your beauty routines. Maybe you're going to get your hair done or your nails done. You're going to go get some new clothes or maybe you're going to go get a spray tan or, or do something aesthetic for yourself. Um, some of you are just going to put some flowers in your hair and dance in your living room and just really tap into who you are, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of like, uh, there might be like a, a skin treatment being done. You might even just be taking a bath and just spending, you know, a little, have a little wine and put some candles in a bath and just relax. There's, a, there's physical pleasure as well showing up here on Saturday with someone. And this might be somebody here, let's take a look, where um, what you might think is unrequited love or that there's a lack of chemistry or attraction actually turns around here. Let me see, show Virgo. Hmm, okay, Ten of Pentacles is here again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this might be somebody you work with. It could be somebody also, um, who works in the um, financial industry or um, something to do with, like I said, wheels, uh, wheels, deeds, wheels could be a car, uh, car dealership or auto, something to do with auto as well. You know what, you guys, I got these new cards. I got to try them. These are from Simplistic Mystic and they are called the Physical Features Oracle. Physical Feature Physical features oracle all right let me just see i want to try it i'm going to start implementing these in my readings but i haven't um practiced with these yet so let's just see what comes out who is this person physical feature describe this person there's there's quite a bit of challenges there might be a little bit of um back and forth witty banter with this person as well okay somebody has straight hair black straight hair okay and they are slender black straight hair and they are slender they might work out maybe there's like a fitness attachment to someone here okay we also have someone who's tattooed we have someone who has blue eyes and bald okay <laughs> Could be you, could be that person, but there's a connection here for sure. Okay, that was kind of cool. All right, so what does that mean? I, I do feel like there might be some connection or a reconnection with someone over the weekend. Virgo, um, physical, yeah. I mean, that Ace of Wands can be very lusty, physical pleasure. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at Sunday. One of Sunday's messages for Virgo. Show Virgo Sunday. Overall message for Virgo for Sunday. Don't forget, you guys, follow me over on Facebook. Link is below in the description box. I'm very active on there, so we can definitely have some chit chats, leave some comments, throw some uh, stars and likes on the chat on the. Um, on, the, on my page. I would really appreciate that. It'd be great to connect with you all. Okay. 
message for Virgo, overall message, talking. Wow. Okay, Virgo. So definitely going to be um, having a conversation with someone. There's some talking maybe through internet or phone text messages. An awaited, um, uh, an awaited message arrives, a text call and email you may receive, and also hoovering. And if you don't know what that means, that somebody is just kind of like hovering around you and is reaching out, okay? Could be a um, romantic, platonic type, or romantic or platonic relationship. Let me see what the love message is. Okay. Yeah, somebody just reaches out. Either you are wait, waiting to hear from somebody or it's just uh, someone you haven't spoken to in a while messages you or calls or emails. Okay, someone's interested, wants to talk with you about something. Okay, holy shit. I can't believe that that after all this shuffling, unrequited love came out again, but in the upright this time. <sighs> There's a conversation that you will be having or someone is having with you about that unrequited love situation from the day before that we just finished talking about, okay? And I feel like somebody's going to be talking to you or asking you, like, do you think that this can't work? Do you think we're not meant to be together? Do you think that there's no, do you think I'm not attracted to you or that there isn't any chemistry? Um, I feel like somebody is going to tell you that that is not the truth. And I feel like you might have felt like that wasn't happening because maybe there was blockages or two people weren't talking or there was no communication um, or there was an argument, a separation or a breakup or something or someone, just the energy of like, wow, this person, it's never gonna work out because A, B and C. It's just, we're not a good match. And I feel like someone wants to talk with you about this and have this conversation. Okay, this is crazy. I have to get into this and see because this feels like Sunday. Mm. Okay, wow. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like someone's really going to be putting in some effort to have a conversation with you about how you feel about the relationship or how you feel about the potential or the possibility for something to happen here. Okay. Wow. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. There's definitely like an energy here. Okay. I, they just told me real quick. For some of you like that, if you've been unemployed or you've had like been doing temp work, there's definitely going to be a change in circumstances. Either there's a new job coming to you or um, you become self-employed or you're building your business. Like things are gonna work out. I just feel like you just need some patience. I know you might be struggling um, with a recession or you know stuff like that, but uh, I know we were seeing that there was an end of a struggle coming for you and you needed to really reset and try to make yourself feel better. But I do feel like the on the financial front, things are gonna be okay. But as far as this person is concerned, um, I thought we were working on things and then just things fell apart. I don't understand that. Are you not attracted to me anymore? Or are, are you just not interested? Do you, do you not think we're compatible? Somebody wants to talk to you about this. Okay. Hmm. Show me what else. What else does Virgo need to know? Wow, <laughs> you just disappeared, Virgo. So this is, okay, so this is somebody communicating. I'm, I'm communicating their message to you here, what they wanna say. Where did you go, Virgo? This is the hermit, okay? This is your energy, both of these cards. Virgo, you're telling somebody, I'm focusing on the things that are tangible in my life and the things that I can actually build. That's your response to someone. And this person is saying, but you leave me out in the cold. Why did you leave me out in the cold? Do you not think that, that we're a thing that could actually work? I don't know who this message is for, but Virgo, I feel like some of you may say to another person, if there's a conversation, you know, I just need time to think about things. I needed to pull away. I don't know what happened. I don't know what you want. It feels like it doesn't work. It feels like we're not working out. I have to leave. I needed to get away. 
and do some soul searching, do some reflection, um, some introspection. I needed to contemplate, is this going to work? Virgo, you say to this person, I have been putting in my effort and I'm still left out in the cold and I feel alone in this connection with you. I'm seeking inner guidance through solitude because I don't know what to do except to walk away. And I feel like there's actually some conversation happening about a relationship here. First court card, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some Libra, okay? There's maturity, an emotional connection here, security, a love, a warmth, a sensitivity, kindness, happiness, romance, loyalty, faithfulness, um, psychic energy, beauty, someone very pretty or very handsome, uh, a daydreamer at times. Didn't I say don't quit your daydream? Maybe that means don't quit your person. I don't, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just relaying the message here. Um, there's a connection with this person who I feel they have very deep feelings for you. Okay. Um, you know, whether it, whatever sign it might be, like I said, Taurus, Virgo, it could be Libra, it could be any sign. There is a conversation about a relationship here and getting to the bottom of things in order to have victory. I feel like somebody wants you to acknowledge them to at least have the conversation to at least talk about that. Does it mean that uh, you and this person will be able to reconcile or get back together or have a relationship to go forward? It, not necessarily, but it doesn't mean it won't happen. But I do feel like a conversation is coming in to be had, to talk. Okay. Yeah. So four of wands and the nine of wands. So there is, I do feel like here, Virgo, that somebody sees you as you could be there happily ever after. Aries, Sagittarius energy. I do feel like somebody sees that. We also have, wow, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, fire energy. I do feel like somebody sees this. They want this reunion, but they're hesitant. It's like this person, I feel like they show up as like a wounded soldier here. You know, this person is um, battle weary. They're fatigued, but they're not willing to give up this fight for this relationship. Um, they're very persistent, okay? And um, I feel like someone here has learned from past failures, whether that was a relationship with you where things didn't work out or there are other relationships in their life. There's definitely a reunion happening here if you want it. Um, feeling a feeling of uh, feeling welcome, um, a family coming back together, or uh, two people coming back together in you know, possible marriage. You know, the four represents structure and foundation, okay? It, it represents realization and making plans for the future. So Virgo, Sunday is going to be pretty profound on the love front, for sure. Pretty profound on the love front. Let me get a couple more of these really cool physical features oracle card. Let me see. Show us a description. Any more description of Virgo's love? Okay, bald again. Okay, brown hair again. All right, somebody's got some freckles. Let's see. We also have brown eyes. Okay, there might be somebody here who at one time had brown hair, now they're bald. They may have some freckles and but they have brown eyes okay um that could also be you now we also have long wavy hair just two more please you have straight hair again okay so this could just pick and choose if that fits your person or you tattoo is showing up here again someone has a tattoo or many one more one more oh man bun with a beard <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool. I just think it's cool. I just like the way that energy plays out. Let me give you um, one or two more cards to send you off on your weekend. Let's see what else here Virgo needs to know overall for the weekend messages. Overall. Okay. Trust your intuition, Virgo. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. 
a lustful, fiery spirit. Listen, <laughs> that's the Knight of Wands energy. Somebody's showing up here very fat. I was going to say fashionate. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's the word. Very passionate towards you. This person lusts after you. Physical attraction is beyond, like crazy beyond. Um, this person might be very creative. They're very creative. Um, they always think about the SEX, like with you, that physical, okay. You also have a material wish being granted over the weekend as well. So that to me is definitely a Nine of Pentacles energy, which you already saw that, and um, some type of financial gain or something that you've wanted, like here in the material world. Uh, you will be getting something that you've been like wishing for. So for example, it's, it's like a material item. I feel like like little genies coming in, like you've been rubbing that little genie lantern so hard and so good. You've been rubbing one off constantly. And you know what? We hear you. And little genies coming in to make that wish happen for you. You also have spiritual principles. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path. Virgo, what are your spiritual beliefs? And will you conform? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? I feel like there's an energy of checking yourself over the weekend about like what your belief system is, your, your spiritual beliefs. Wealth, health, and abundance. My gosh. W-H-A. What? This is awesome. Wealth looking good. Your health, taking care of yourself and tapping into that abundance over the weekend. Whatever your abundance is. I can't define that for you. You know where that little pot of gold is. How are you going to get to that? What, what creative thinking can you come up with over this weekend to tap into that gold resource that is just sitting there waiting for you? And they're just like, Virgo, when are you coming? Virgo, we got to sit here all day and wait for you? Virgo, what are you doing? What's taking you so long? Come on, get moving. Get to stepping, Virgo. Let me see. Yes, the struggle is over. I mean, come on, Virgo. The struggle is over. And if you feel like it's not, put an end to it. Make the struggle be over. Come to the end of that phase. Get off your ass and remove your blockages. First, identify what your blockages are and then get to moving them out of the way so you can tap in to access that resource of abundance and energy. That's what the whole overall message is for you, okay? Don't get into self-defeating. Self-defeating minds go nowhere. Even if you think you can't do something, even if you think you can't make it, fake it until you make it. Just tell yourself, you know what? I can run a marathon. I can do this. I know I'm, I'm doing it. I'm running a marathon. And some of you may not, not have ever, some of you could barely even walk. But if you just keep faking it and tricking your mind and telling your mind, I'm not listening, I'm just going to do it. One step leads to the next, to the next, to the next. Next thing you know, you're doing a 5K. And that's just an example, right? You have to start somewhere. If you defeat yourself before you start, you'll never even start. You've already lost. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your message there. I hope that you enjoyed some of that, if not all of it. And uh, yeah, definitely go into the description box below. All the links, everything you need to get in touch with me, get a reading, do all that great stuff is all down there. And I will see you all on Sunday, the 8th. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.